In the U.S., the price of prescription drugs is way more than double that of any other country in the world. Yes, this is not a new topic to the rest of the American nations. The topic that is unknown to many is how much or how little their insurance covers their prescription drug. Though this question seems unnecessary to many, it was found that many insurances don't cover the prescription drugs. But apart from federal benefits, there are many private insurance plans which offer prescription drugs. So why do 18 million Americans can't afford their prescribed medications? Does that mean the insurance you are currently taking is not enough to cover prescription drug costs? Before digging down the insurance policies, let's discuss why these prescription drugs are so important to all. Basically, the drugs have two classifications in the market. One is OTC, or you can say over-the-counter drug. Another is prescription only. You don't need to show any prescription in drugstores to buy any OTC medicine. But in prescription drug cases, you need to show a valid prescription from a prescriber as this prescription drug is intended for use by one individual patient to treat a specific condition. Yes, these bookish lines are very familiar to many of us. But do you know Americans spend about $1,200 on prescription drugs a year, which is more than any other developed country globally? After hearing, you may be bought the topic like, due to the nature of the substance or to produce drug more efficiently, Pharma companies had no choice to raise higher drug prices to public. Hence, the study published in 2019 showed a different story to everyone. According to the study, cost of oral and injectable generics increased by 4.4% and 7.3%, respectively, driven by new drug entry. That means an entry of new drug causes the pharma companies to charge the higher cost of brand name drugs that they are making. And the possible scenario can be seen if we see the data published by Health System Tracker. The prices of many brand name prescription drugs, which are used to treat serious illnesses such as diabetes, cystic fibrosis, and cardiovascular disease, are more expensive in the US than in countries like Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, or UK. Even you can take a look at the price of anti-inflammatory drug named Humeria. In the U.S., this drug is 423% more expensive than the price in the U.K. and 186% more than that in Germany. But wait, some federal state programs should be present that can save you from this high charge of prescription drugs, right? In the United States, you can access medications in a number of ways, including through employer-sponsored health plans, a health insurance exchange plan, or a program like Medicare, Medicaid, or the Affordable Care Act, ACA. After hearing, we are pretty much sure that you might have thought if there are so many health programs, then why do more than three in four adults in the United States think the cost of prescription drugs are unaffordable? Well, before the Affordable Care Act, ACA, or Obamacare, close to 20% of individual family health insurance plans did not cover prescription medications. Besides that, the federal program Medicare, which works for senior citizens and disabilities insurance, doesn't cover prescription drugs. However, after the establishment of Medicare Part D, people who are Medicare enrollees get little prescription coverage. Still, individuals again need to buy a private prescription plan for them to fulfill the requirements. Apart from this Medicare, the situation for the Medicaid side is not much promising than you have expected. Like Medicare, Medicaid is also offered by U.S. federal states, which offer medical assistance for individuals and families with low incomes or relatively few assets. However, though Medicaid covers the prescription sites, the restriction of eligibility actually halts many Americans from getting this service. After the establishment of ACA, the scenario seems to be changed, where the ACA set a standard of essential health benefits plans. Which includes, prescription drug, which includes prescription drug individual and small group health plans. But besides all these new services, why do American citizens struggle to afford this prescription drug? Yes, from your friend who recently enrolled in a new health plan, you might have familiar with the common factors like co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles. But do you know which one is somewhat negligible to most among all these factors? Well, it's none other than the drug formulary. 
After hearing, some of you may be thinking why you need to know about drug formula. No, this term doesn't stand for how your drug is formulated. In this case, the drug formulary means a preferred drug list, which contains a list of generic and brand name drugs covered by your plan. Each health insurer has the allowance to develop their own formularies and adjust them as necessary. During the development of formulary, drugs are classified into different tiers. For example, the least expensive can be regarded as tiers one, whereas the most expensive drugs can be considered as in a higher tier. And if you think you don't have any chronic conditions, that means you don't need to know the drug formularies. Then again, the disclaimer is waiting for you. Whether you have an illness or do not know drug formularies while shopping for an individual health plan is way more necessary than you have expected. Understanding the formulary of your health insurance plan ensures you know what medications would be available should you develop a certain health condition, like diabetes, cancer, asthma, or even certain skin conditions. However, suppose you might have read all the drug formulary parts of your health plan and might have thought you are much more clever than ever. Then here comes the most heartbreaking parts that you may not even imagine. Remember we have told you earlier that insurers have a complete allowance to change the drug formulary? Well, you can witness this change by half of your health plan too, as there is no NYS law, which may prevent formularies from changing halfway through the plan year. So if you think your current insurance covers this drug, does mean it will cover all these drugs the rest of the year. Moreover, among these loopholes, there are certain hopes to see Americans' hearts. GoodRx, an American healthcare company, took a groundbreaking initiative by offering discount cards and coupons for customers to take to the pharmacy, allowing them to get a lower price. According to CNBC, GoodRx expanded into telehealth by purchasing Startup Hey Doctor so that consumers can refill medications and receive advice about their prescriptions. And this year, GoodRx is acquired a tech-backed pharmacy platform, VitaCare, for $150 million with the mission of helping more people with benefits and medication coverage options. This is all about the pharmacy side. From the insurer side, the promising stories are seen too. You can take the example of Cigna. Unique initiatives like promoting biosimilars over biologics or lowering the insulin price somewhat save people from investing money a little bit. Thus, after all these discussions, do you know what is the ultimate truth that is missed by you? you expect the entire healthcare system of the U.S. to be changed in just a year. Or your insurance can't suddenly act like your close friends, who can save you from every possible cost of prescription drugs. But yes, uniform knowledge about your health plans can save you from extra costs which you have never been prepared for. Thanks for watching our video. For more healthy experiences, subscribe to our channel and keep yourself updated by pressing the bell icon.